Hi, so it's Burnout, and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, successfully uh, put images under certain images, like uh, put a flag under a, a map. That's what we're going to show an example of this time. So uh, let's get right to it. So uh, what are you going to want to do? So we're going to start out on your desktop, open up your search browser like Google Chrome or whatever you use, and go on to uh, pink.net. Um, I, if you do it, I think it might lead you to a random website, so you got to uh, enter it on the search bar. I'll also put a link in the uh, description. You're going to want to download this. Um, this is basically the tool that you're going to use to use it all. Uh, so once you download paint.net, you want to find a, a good map, like a blank map. I'll just show you. Let me look it up. So right now I'm doing like a blank map of the USA. So here we go. We have um, a map of the USA, so I'm just going to select this one. And you're going to want to click view image because that will give you a better quality image. And then you're going to want to save it to your uh, hard drive or whatever you use. After you do that, let me just exit out. After you do that, you're going to want to uh, go on to, I'm uh, sorry for that. You're going to want to go on to paint.net after you downloaded it and click on file open and uh, click on the thing that you open uh, downloaded the map so now that you're here you're doing it all right all right so here on paint on that you should see the background uh, everything the tools this tool the magic wand tool is probably gonna be your most important tool before we get into uh, talking about this we're gonna uh, get our flag that we want so we're gonna want to uh, go on Google again search for an image you want this in, in this case i'm doing a flag so we have the american flag and you're going to want to copy the image right here you're not going to want to like save it or anything you want to copy it in you can save it if you want but in this case i'm just going to copy it all right so now this is copied doing everything right so uh what we're going to want to do now is you want to go uh click on your magic wand you're going to want to select the uh, state that you want to or area on the map that you want to make sure that there's no like gaps or in between because it'll select, select the whole map. So in this case, I'm going to uh, select Texas. You're going to want to select it. You should see this blue outline. Then you want to click delete. And if you see that checkerboard, don't worry, you're doing it right. That's what's supposed to happen. So this basically means this checkerboard right here. It means that, uh, basically, um, the whole white part was deleted, so now you just have an outline. So, now what we gotta do is, you know that flag that we copied earlier? We're gonna use it. So you wanna gonna click Edit, and then you're gonna wanna click Paste into New Layer. Uh, so this will paste your f uh, photo that you got into a new layer, and so you're gonna see on the Layers tab, Layer 2 and Above Background. That's really important, the Layers tab is probably gonna be your most important thing. Now let's, um, you're going to want to uh, place your flag down, uh, as you see it might not fit, so you can drag it. Don't worry if it looks terrible, it's all going to be better. So I'm going to drag it to roughly fit the size of Texas, it doesn't need to be perfect. So there we go. Now we got a flag off Texas, but that looks ugly. So what you're going to do is drag it below the background, and then it's... It, it fits over all of Texas. That's good, unless you're going to do something next to it uh, that's going to overlap. But first, let's uh, teach you about paint.net. So well, let's just say you don't like what you did and you want to undo. Buddy, you, of course you could... Channel. One second. Channel switch. Of course you could uh, click... Sorry for that, someone on TeamSuite came. Of course you could click edit and uh, undo it, which is a long way. Or if you see, you can just click Control Z. So I'm gonna click Control Z, and I'll edit what I just did. But let's just say, if I didn't want to do that, I'll click Control Y. Hey, wake up. Um, yeah, just give me a second. It's tapped out. Team speak. I guess Control Y isn't working right now. Well, normally you'd control Y, but I guess it's not working. 
But, uh, yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. But now, um, I don't like what I did. It's overlapping. Let's, uh, actually, let's make it overlap. So I'm gonna click background again to place a new one. And then I'm gonna click edit again and paste this new layer. So I'm gonna place another User flag. Your channel. There you go. I'm gonna place another flag. And this time I'm gonna do it, uh, right here. No, right here. Alright. So I'm gonna get the flag that looks about right. Gonna, sorry if you hear background noise, gonna place it. Oh, yeah, that's a common mistake. I forgot to delete the background. So I'm gonna just delete the background. And you, ha you can only delete backgrounds while you're in the uh, background area, unless you want to delete part of your flag. So now you see, like, if you're in its natural, half of this flag is covering this, which is fine. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna click on that blue mouse. Uh, see, that's what I did. I forgot to select layer. So I'm gonna click layer 3. Gonna click on that blue mouse. Now that it fits, I'm gonna lower it below background. Now you see, it looks ugly. Well, if it was a regular flag. I see, I'm just gonna position that. It looks ugly because it's covering half of that flag. So I don't want that, obviously. And if I lowered it below layer 2, that would be covering half of it, which we don't like. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this layer, the second layer, and I'm going to select the eraser tool. Uh, I'm going to select the brush width as like, uh, 30? Yeah, that's a good size, I like that. And then you're just going to start erasing. I'm not making it neat, but you can always make it neater. And you, now, as you see, it's no longer overlapping, and it'll be perfect. The, that's sort of the basics, but one problem I have, and I'm not the best at fixing it. If you, yeah, you probably hear it back in noise. Um, I'm not the best at fixing it, but uh, this is what I learned, is that you see this little blue mouse, this is where you select it. So I'm going to select the second layer, which is this, and I'm going to rotate it. And so now with this blue mouse, I can rotate it, and also, I can expand it pretty sure. No, I can't. So this is just like a X, Y axis, sort of. Um, I'm not the best at doing this. Uh, if I was, I'm gonna erase this above background. You can see better. I'm not the best at doing this, but, uh, I'm still not the experienced. But I still have to find a way how to, um, correctly remake it. Like, re- if you add a place to it. Like, let's just say you claim this territory. I still have to find a way to do that. But for now, what I do is I click this X to delete the layer, and then I'd magic wand. Let me just select background. Magic wand this, and delete it, and then re paste into new layer and do that all again. That's what I do. You could be sloppy with it and um, paste uh, another layer and try and get it to look better. I'm just gonna erase that. There you go. So that's basically a tutorial on how to do this. If you uh, if you have any more questions, please comment down below uh, on what the questions are. I can surely answer it. Uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and as always, come on, pros. See you guys later.